Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today is episode 8 and it is entitled Score Widget Automation. And the graphic you see in front of you, we are going to show you how to automate just about every component of that graphic. From home and visitor score, to possession, to penalty flag, from down and distance. We'll also show you step by step how to bring in that automated touchdown graphic. Uh, that requires a little bit of uh, scripting in vMix UTC and we're going to show you how to do that. We'll also show you how to uh, bring in or kind of fade in the uh, score uh, like you see right there and we'll also show you how to control uh, the quarter graphic uh, from a list widget. We'll have that and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Okay so let's get right into it. This is what the graphic looks like in GT Title Design Designer. And you'll notice on the right hand side, these are all the elements that are included in this graphic. And you'll see some of the eyeballs are grayed out and some of them are visible. And when it's grayed out, it is not visible in the graphic. And when it is visible, it is visible in the graphic. So that right there is how we do possession. Uh, in this graphic with the little uh, yellow football and that is how we do the touchdown animation uh, in this graphic. So anytime we want something to show we want to make sure it's visible and anytime we want something not to show we need to make sure that it's hidden. So how do we do that? And it's under data and you'll see a little checkbox that says, that says show visible toggle. That is what we need to make sure we have checked every time we want one of these elements to be able to be hidden. We want to make sure that we have that checkbox checked. So for Pegasus and Sports and Touchdown and for the Possession Symbols, we want to make sure that we have that checkbox. Okay, so this is actually what it looks like in our vMix uh, production. And we're just going to right click and go to Title Editor. And you can see where some of these items are visible and where some of them aren't visible. And that's where uh, we're going to be uh, working today. And you can see right there, Team 2 Possession. It is showing Team 1 Possession is not. And you can see where Pegasus and Sports is showing because those little eyeballs are visible right there. So just to recap, when those images are grayed out, they're not visible. And when you can see those images, they are visible. All right, now we're going to go to the vMix UTC scoreboard layout for football. And the first button we're going to look at is uh, the visitor score button. Well, we're going to click on the plus six, and it's going to add six points to the visitor score. And then we click on one, and you can see it fade in one number higher, changes from number six to number seven. Same thing for the home score. We click on it, it's going to fade in six, and we're going to add a, one more point for the uh, point after, and it increases their score by one to seven. All right, now we're going to look at down and distance, and this is just really utilization of the uh, list widget. And we have most of the possible down and distances uh, listed right there. It's also a list widget that we use for quarter uh, as well. We also have a text field there for some of the down and distances that aren't as common like long down and distances like uh, second and 15 and it will change it on the fly. We're going to click the visitor touchdown button and you'll see that the Pegasus and Sports goes away and that touchdown comes in and then it brings the Pegasus Sports back and then it automatically adds six to the visitor score. Now we're going to click the home touchdown button. Let's see what it does. It takes out the Pegasus and Sports there in that top bar, brings in touchdown, then it brings Pegasus and Sports back, and then it adds seven. And with the uh, possession buttons there, all it's really doing is hiding and revealing that little yellow uh, football image. All right, so now let's take a look behind the buttons and see exactly what we need to do. The first button we're gonna look at is the quarter button and you can see it is just a list widget and these are all the different graphics that it's mapped to and you'll notice it's all the quarter function there and then we have first second third fourth overtime half and final and it just 
you just scroll through it as a uh, drop down menu. This is the down and distance, and you can see again that it is a list widget. Same thing, pre populated down and distances for most of the more common ones. The next button we're going to look at is the text field widget, and that is what allows us to change the down and distance on the fly. And you can see how easy it is to quickly change the down and distance in that text field. We'll change it to uh, first and 15, and then you'll also see how we can quickly change it to uh, other down and distances as well. The next button we're going to look at is the flag on the play button. And we use uh, how we do this is with a command set visible on. And we're going to do it for the uh, scoreboard widget. And then we need to pick what uh, title we want. And you either it's either going to be text or source. And we want to make sure it's that flag text that we're uh, hiding and revealing. And then we have a timer there where we're going to leave it on for about 10 seconds. And then we're going to come back after that and turn it back off again. So we use the set visible off command. Visitor possession is pretty much the same way. Set visible on. And this time what we're going to be doing is turning that little football image off and on. And you'll notice we're turning one on and one off. That's how we get that image to toggle back and forth uh, on our graphic. Okay, and what I want you to notice right here is in the index fields, you're going to see team possession image for team two and team one. Team one is team one possession, and on the index for zero, that's team two possession. So that's why we have one turned on and one turned off. It allows us to do that toggle. All right, and this is the visitor timeout, and it's really set as a text field widget. And we make sure that we do have it set to text, and all we're using is three backslashes to denote uh, the timeouts that each team has. So when they take a timeout, we'll just remove one of those backslashes. Okay, now let's take a deep dive into the scripting. This is what everyone's probably been waiting for. And we're going to start off with a visitor touchdown. Well, there's an awful lot going on here. We're going to set the visibility of the Pegasus and Sports to off in that title bar. And then we're going to set the visibility of the touchdown graphic to on. And then we're going to bring in a timer and let that hang out for about eight seconds. Then we're going to turn it off. And then we're going to bring the Pegasus and Sports back in. And then we're going to go ahead and add six to the score. All right, let's take a look at the scripting item by item. The first line there that says number zero, and it says set visible off, uh, that is index three, which is Pegasus. Now the next item, which is listed number one, that is index two, and that is going to turn off the sports number two, and it says set visible on, and this text, this type is text instead of the other two that were images, so we're going to go to text one, and that's when the touchdown comes in. The next item is the timer. That timer comes in for eight seconds. And then we're going to set the visible off on text index one, which was the touchdown. So we turn that off. And then on number five, we're going to set X visible on. And that is the Pegasus which is uh, denoted there with index three, and then index two is sports, and that's going to bring uh, the sports back off. Uh, um, yeah, the sports back on. Then we're going to have a timer on for one second, and then we're going to add six to the visitor score. So let's look at the home touchdown. It's pretty much the same thing, except it's for the home team. And then we're going to get to the end, and instead of add six V, it's going to be add 6H. That's the only difference in the scripting for the uh, home touchdown. All right, that's our tutorial for today. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you're enjoying this series, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you are alerted when new videos are posted. Our next tutorial will be another quick hitter, quick hitter number four. 
where we will discuss the region widget.